Welcome back to The Real Crypto Space and today's video is going to be on eGold. Welcome back to The Real Crypto Space and as you guys may know we are going to be talking about Elrond and this is not financial advice. Always do your own research and hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. As you see here it's a really big project and it's 4 billion dollar market cap which is quite low compared to what it's been before. It's about 4x down from where it's actually been. Uh, it went to around $550 uh, so it could definitely do more which is about $370 more than what it is right now. Um, but yeah if we go on to uh, Twitter and see what's going on with it and last week in eGold. eGold is listed on Bitthumb which is always great with expanding uh, more people. We're expanding to more exchanges so more people can purchase it. Um, also, the eGold virtual cards were released via SoidPay, which is really insane. That now you actually have uh, the virtual cards, which has been talking about. Um, and the NFTs are coming to Elrond, and the new Maya exchange is pairs, is Platter, BSK, and Effort um, with it. So the weekly uh, ownership is very uh, interesting. And also, of course, we're expanding even more with 1.3 million accounts. 36.6 33.6 million transactions 11.4 million tokens staked um which is great and on the get my uh, exchange there's 840,000 users and 97,000 stake e-gold um which is always great as people are actually using it now as we can see um and there's been 1.7 billion us dollars and 14 million us dollars in the past 24 hours in volume which really is insane and there's also been lots of media mentions in the last week which is also great as well more people are talking about e-gold more people are buying price goes up uh, Nasdaq, Yahoo Finance, Binance, Textorian, F MSN and IO Investors which are all big big media uh, places so it's definitely bullish for Elrond on the macro perspective. Let's go find out what we see in the charts and get into the technical analysis to see if it's bullish there as well. Alright guys as you can see from the weekly time frame as you guys may know we have had a massive drop and it's starting to look like it does want to be moving higher ever since it had that massive drop which is a good sign to be seeing and we did see that massive rejection all, almost at $100 which is a great sign. I'm just going to show you guys the support line that was made if I just find the line right down here um this was like a nice area of support 118 dollars in my opinion was a nice area of support we, we, we've seen an old high here with an old low and you know price did reach that for a great support if we do go to the daily time frame as you can see here we did we did actually wick into that and i'm just gonna move the volume so you can actually see what i'm looking at there you go so we did actually end up wicking down to the support and it did show us great signs of bullishness as of right now and from that support we went from around 118 dollars all the way to $270. So that was like maybe a two and a half X, 2.2 X, which is definitely a good sign to be seen. And the four hour time frame does enhance the idea even better. And we do see um, a better understanding of what actually happened and why this project still may have a lot of possibilities in moving higher to potentially new highs. Hourly time frame, you know, may show us a nice upward trend ever since we've touched that support as you can see here that upward trend is visible and it does go to show us um you know that it has been moving higher and as you can see here if you were to trade this project if i show you guys from this swing low to this swing high let's see what you were to buy at 61.8 percent price almost drops down to 61.8 percent and uh, we end up seeing that buy but as you can see it almost drops down here but most likely you would have bought it because of your spreads or something so yeah, that's what, that's what we can see. Hourly time frame is showing us a massive consolidation. As you can see here, we are in a massive range as of right now. And we still need to see whether we can leave this range. But guys, we have, you know, formed a bullish, you know, standing. So it does seem like we may end up start to move in higher. And instead of moving lower, we need to see what actually does happen within this range because we have been in this range for quite some time now. So we want to see whether we can leave this consolidation and start to pump up higher. And yeah, within the daily time frame, you know, this is only right to see us start to move higher because we are in a we are in a, a bull flag as of right now, which we have spoken about. Um, the flag pole and then the flag, as you can see here, where we may end up starting to pump higher. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, that's where we are heading to next. So uh, that is now the end of the video. And if you feel like you've taken any value from watching this, then please make sure you hit that like button and also press that subscribe button. It really does help us out. And uh, yeah, thank you very much and have a lovely rest of your day.